I made a game in just 48 hours. It's called Cheese Game, where the objective is to collect all the dice from the rats using some crazy mad control. It was my attempt at the GMTK 2022 Game Jam, and GMTK was only gonna give us 48 hours to do it. What really matters to me is GMTK himself, the big daddy. Will he play my game? Will he put me in his finalist winner's video? Did I just waste an entire weekend and my mental health for absolutely no reason whatsoever? Well, there's only one way to find out. Ooh, three minutes and 47 seconds. One minute and 18 seconds. You guys are gonna help me think of an idea. In five, four, three, two, one. Hi everyone. The sixth annual GMTK Game Jam begins now. Your goal, over the next 48 hours, is to make a game that fits the following theme. Roll of the dice. Oh, wow. What are we gonna do for a roll of the dice? I honestly have no idea. Nothing springs to mind. Let's just draw out a dice. Maybe this will help. What if the dice turned into a block of cheese and you went through the dice? The black spots on the dice can be holes that you go through. You know, we don't want GMTK to be like, oh, it doesn't quite match the theme, so, uh, rolling through passages of holes in cheese. The cheese rotates as you explore, upside down levels. Ooh, ooh, that's actually a good idea. Yeah, you could be rolling inside a rolling block of cheese that looks like a dice. What if you could control the massive block of cheese that you're in? You could rotate it. Let's just draw it out. There's this massive block of cheese and it's got some like tunnels going through it. Right, so you have your dice. The only input from the player is rotating this massive block of cheese. We do not want enemy dice. We want enemy rats. Rat transparent. We have technology. Shouldn't the cheese be round since it's spinning? I guess so. All right, let's make the cheese round. Man, GMTK is really harsh for setting a dice game. So I don't even know how hard this is gonna be. You know what, should we just start making a prototype and see how it goes? Uh, projects. Cheese game 2022. Create project. Whoa, what's he made? Whoa, he's already done all of this? But, uh, uh psych. Uh, no, that is just the game I'm working on. Okay, let's see. What's the first thing we need? We need to create a block of cheese, to be honest. And we need to do that in Photoshop. Nice, so fluorescent, a bit more cheesy. So this is one level, right? It's gonna have some holes going through it. Looks like a tennis ball. Are these lines too small? Is the level too big? So we'll make tunnels a bit bigger. Let's just add like some dots to make it look more like a cheese. That makes complete sense. We'll go with this, right? I'm gonna export this and import it into Unity. Nice, nice, nice. We should put a polygon collider. Look at that. Look at Unity just automatically creating the polygon collider for me. What a god's end, honestly. Okay, the dice. Where is the dice? What happened to the dice? Oh, we haven't even made it yet. It's just going to be a square and it's going to have some black dots. Let's make the number one dice. How big should it be? 69. It's going to be 69 because I do whatever I feel like. Adobe, please stop suggesting that I save it to Creative Cloud. I don't want to save my files to goddamn Creative Cloud. Thank you very much. One. Two. Uh, one, two, three, four. We've got four dice. That is such a dodgy five. Oh, ah, that's decent. So, we have our dice. Is the IntelliSense working? Yes, it is. That is the most important part of game development and programming. The dice needs a rigid body because it's going to be interacting with the physics engine, of course. And it also needs a box collider 2D. Okay, there it goes. That's pretty good. And I think the only logical next step is to make the mechanism for rotating the cheese. You can actually just test it in the editor. Like, I can just select it and then... Oh, okay. So if we rotate it too fast, it clips through the collider. I think what we're going to have to do is control the rotation using a right and left button so it rotates slowly. Let's make a camera script quickly. You know, I actually made a very lovely and I think a generic camera script in meme game. It might be worth copying it over. We're allowed to do that, right? <laughs> control C, control V noises. Oh, I should also copy over my extensions. I'm gonna make a git repo because I'm a good programmer and good programmers make git repos for everything. Yes, and I'm going to use source tree. 
you know, I am actually not a good programmer because I use a user interface to manage all my Git stuff. I don't actually use the command line. <laughs> New repository, cheese game public, create, push. Okay, look at this, we've now got a repository. Okay, camera, that's what we were doing. We need the script for the camera and we are going to steal it from meme game. Drag you on in. Oh, whoa, camera manager already has all the right children. Okay, perfect, hopefully it should work. Hey, look at that. Oh, look at that beautiful camera. Smooth following around. Copied and pasted from my other game. If I win, if I get put in GMTK's video where he reviews the games, I am going to print this on a poster and I'm going to stick it right there. Oh, what happened there? Unity, Unity, you crashed on me. Bruh! BRB, gone to take a piss. So where did we leave off yesterday? Oh yeah, I remember. I went and took a piss and I made this thing. We need to make the controls to make the whole thing rotate. So I was thinking on the keyboard, just left and right. That's it. Simple controls. How to get right and left key down unity. Let's try it. Okay, look at that. It rotates when I click left and right very slowly. Oh my god, unity crashed. Oh no. Look at that. I'm kind of controlling where he's going. He's kind of too slippery at the moment, Mr. Dicey Boy. I guess a good way to implement stickiness is to make the dice be a child of the cheese. I'm gonna do that. Let's see. Whoa. Whoa. That's so much easier to control. So the rats, the enemies, the obstacles. What does a rat even look like? It's just got a, a blob for its body. This is an abstract rat, right? This game is abstract art. So we've got our two frames of the rat. That's him walking around the level. I'm in my mom's car, noot noot, get out me car. Yeah, so basically this is like me creating the rat and uh, yeah, do some cool stuff, you know. Uh, that's the script and then a bunch of testing, a bunch of adjustments and all that. Hey, is it working? Oh, oh, uh, didn't quite work, so I had to go back to the drawing board. So it correctly identifies the closest point, which is great. Look at that. So that is the direction we need the gravity to go in. Bloom. You know what? I'll add bloom now. Let's make it look pretty. Whoa, look at that. Oh, chromatic aberration. Oh, that is so cool. Look at that. Panini projection. I remember that. I use it in meme game. Yeah. Yo. Lens distortion. Whoa. Right, now we've got our rats crawling around the level. Look at that infestation. Unity crashed on me. Thanks for letting me see. So to know what number the rat is, maybe the rat can have like a little dice attached to it. Can the rat be holding the dice in its mouth? I'm not entirely sure on the interaction of the dice with the rat. What if the number on the dice didn't correspond to its rotation, but instead just like you could set what number you wanted on the dice based on left and right on the arrow keys. Actually, I think that's going to be a really good idea. That actually adds like a skill. So I'm rolling around. Come on, come to that three. Ooh, and if it, if it matches, we can collect that dice. Ooh, we can collect the dice and we get another dice. Ooh, if the dice doesn't match, the dice gets destroyed. But if it does match, we collect that dice and get another dice. And we have to collect all the dice in the level. Oh, wow. Wow, I like that. Init dice. Cool. Oh my God, this is such a good game. Look, I'm getting good at my own game. Oh, we need a one. Come on, one. Then we need a two. Come on, two. Oh, goodbye, dice. Okay, we need to make an itch.io page, don't we? Um, let's see, how do you submit? Cheese game. What if I upload it and I can't update it? Ooh. Oh, look at that. It's working. Fellas. Let me give you the link. Fellas, go and play it. Cheese game. <laughs> Random aesthetic text in the bottom right. I love it. Well, I'm not done yet because I've got to make a UI for the game, add some sounds and some more levels to make it actually good. Whoa, let's make these a bit bigger as well. Level name. Nice. Two and a bit hours till the submission. Okay, audio. Let's do the audio visuals. No, I just mean audio to be honest. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, so we have the dice bounce off wall sound. <laughs> I love it. I'll open audition, how about that? See, the thing is like, we should only have sounds for like things that mean something in the game. Otherwise, like if we just have sounds for like everything, then it just gets confusing. Do do do, look at all these pretty orange colors. I love it. 
Let's make some levels. Oh my god, it's too hard. <laughs> oh, a Bree map. <laughs> Let's try it out. No, I have one dice left. Okay, I can win, I can win. Okay, I got a two. Come on, hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. No, I need to be on that little island. Boom, I win. One minute 32. Can you beat that? I still think the jump between Swiss cheese and Brie is too much. Holy moly, is hard. <laughs> the rats move so funny. <laughs> I should just do a submarine. A yellow submarine. <laughs> nice, that is a horrific yellow. I'm trying to get a five down there. Yes, I love that idea. Okay, okay, we're doing a vote for cheese game cheese. Yes, a lot of rats. That one in the middle is hard. I think we should go for the one in the middle first. Boom! Nice. Canned. Canned cheese. <laughs> I love it. Canned. Let me tell you how the rat AI works, right? It's a rigid body that is got no friction, that just constantly moves forward and has some gravity. And if the speed is less than one, it just jumps over and over until it starts moving again. Pretty legit. Oh my god. <laughs> That's terrifying. Wow. Okay, well, I think the game jam is over. All right. Phew. Glad that's over. Now we wait for the voting period to close. Not gonna lie, there have been a lot of ratings and I only have this many of them. And the fact that Bargy only gave it a three for enjoyment and presentation doesn't really help my case. So we could remedy the situation. I reckon if you guys all go over to itch.io and vote for the game, we might have a fighting chance. You never know. I put the link in the description. Comment below once you voted and you will have been a part of Wreath and History forever. Thank you and I'll see you all very soon to work on meme game. Goodbye.